So after doing our morning running, Ricky and I in shopping, I have all of my ingredients here. We're about to start our spaghetti and meatball. And I have, I made a plain Caesar salad. I'm gonna show you guys that shortly. And I have a loaf of garlic bread also. I'm gonna stick that into the oven for the kids. When it's ready to be served, the spaghetti and meatballs, um, they're gonna have the bread as well as the salad. So join me now, I'm gonna showcase all of my ingredients and tell you guys how I'm gonna prepare this meatball. So here are ordering the kids cake for their birthday. For our first we should get a little cake. This bakery is called Cookies and Cream. It's located in Kew Garden, so I'll give the information. You can also get their dress. Their stuff is delicious. They have a wide variety of breakfast sandwiches, coffees, teas. You see, when you, you pretend you went shopping over the weekend for me and you didn't buy anything, right? It's a while this has been enforced where you have to take your bags. How do you know I didn't buy Because them? I do all the shopping all the time and I know the bags, right? Okay, so look how beautiful everything is displayed. Anyway, we have to get some fresh herbs. I'm making spaghetti and meatballs today for the kids. And some garlic bread and a big salad. See, Ricky knows what you have to get here. Where's shop for Ricky? Uh, a few things. Can you just park the, the cart right there and like you're standing, you don't know you're waiting for me, right? While well, I'm videotaping, you're waiting for me. You're the chef, so. Uh, you wanna get some lemons, Nita? Uh, you want all this or take two for me? Oh, go ahead. <coughs> you bought oranges when we were away the weekend? So guys, if you have never tried, I like the Welch's brand. This passion fruit juice is very good. Sherry, this is the passion fruit juice I was telling you about. It's really good. So we're gonna give this a try also today. Hey babe. I'm gonna come show. I can't believe it's not butter. Can you put this in the coffee, please? Yeah, buy juice for now, you I leave this man for one minute. Look, I leave him for one minute and look what he's doing. Look, I found something. When you go to school, I'm going to get this about your lunchbox. Oh, cute. And you need that. I'm getting some salad. Eat healthy. <coughs> Eat greens, no meat. I have cucumbers already. For dry thing, you know. That's fresh time. That's not dry time. Oh yeah, fresh time. Sorry. That's fresh time. You show the price? Yeah, it's two forty nine. Okay. Thank God we got a nice fresh one in the backyard. Uh huh. We do. Thanks to me planting it. Yeah right. Okay. You put me to shop for the onions, guys. I ain't boring up my eyes. I'm why why, why did you take the purple? Why did you take the purple one? Oh okay. 
just cost them another. I think it's a couple of dollars. You shouldn't open your mouth, guys. You got the aloo? No, I have aloo. This is this is the thing about shopping now. There's so much to choose from. Like long time you go buy one thing and that's it. Look what's going on here. Oh my 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 my. And everything, the price of everything have increased so much. It's, it's well especially this time of the year. They say when Norat and and the Wali and so well, coming on. Prices have increased yeah. because of Nora. Like all veggies and stuff, that's very expensive right now. Uh, no. If it's one thing with this supermarket, everything is well stacked and neatly packed. Price for rice, not bad. And here is some seafood section. Some big shrimps there. Hey boy! Some mussels there, boy. Fish. There is nothing I like better than a supermarket that has all these goodies. Look at this spread. All your daily special. My, 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 my. Why do I like the selection here? Mm, nice olives. So after doing our morning running, Ricky and I and shopping, I have all of my ingredients here. We're about to start our spaghetti and meatball. And I have, I made a plain Caesar salad. I'm gonna show you guys that shortly. And I have a loaf of garlic bread also. I'm gonna stick that into the oven for the kids. When it's ready to be served, the spaghetti and meatballs, um, we're gonna have the bread as well as the salad. So join me now, I'm going to showcase all of my ingredients and tell you guys how I'm going to prepare this meatball. Okay folks, so here is the layout of all of my ingredients. I'm going to start first with the meat that I use for the meatballs. So I have a pound and a half of ground beef here and a pound and a half of ground turkey. I like to mix the meat and incorporate them. It gives a nice flavor to the meatball. I have a pound of perilla, the perilla, sorry, perilla, I don't know where I got that from, perilla pasta, spaghetti. I have some finely chopped or diced red onions. I like to use the red onions as you guys have seen in my cooking. I find it has a lot of flavor and taste. I have some Italian seasoning over here, some Parsley, dry parsley, a little dry basil. I have some grated garlic, fresh garlic, and some type of flakes. Some fresh parsley is also going to go. I'm going to chop it up and put it into the meat mixture. I have two eggs. We have some uh, Parmesan cheese, a third cup of milk, some breadcrumbs, fresh basil to go. When I'm plating to go over the pasta and the meatballs, I'm gonna season up with salt. I have a can, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And I'm gonna use the jar barilla tomato and basil sauce. And I'm gonna use some good olive oil. So let's get start, um, started with this meal, the meatballs. I have my pot on the stove which is heating up here I'm gonna put the pasta in to boil and let's continue cooking okay folks let's get started with the meatball so I took the liberty of adding both the ground meat the mixture of the beef and the turkey in my mixing bowl let's go in now I'm gonna start seasoning up with 
some salt generously. I'm gonna add in all of my chopped condiments with the Italian seasoning, some pepper flakes, the garlic. Let's go in with the chop and chopped up the parsley, the fresh parsley. I beat it two eggs, that's gonna go in next. As well as the bread crumbs. milk and the parmesan cheese okay so i'm going to start mixing with my spatula but we need the best thing to mix this with my hands so i'm going to continue mixing afterwards with my hands and start rolling out the meatballs i'm going to make a big meatball for ricky and i'm going to make the smaller ones for the kids he's going to come home for lunch you know, we always got a lunch date here, right? So, I'm gonna continue mixing this here. Let me put back my salt. I'm gonna give also the pasta. My spaghetti is boiling over here, it's cooking. Are we gonna do it al dente because we are gonna add the cooked meatball and sauce over the pasta. So we don't want it to be too soft. This has it just probably like Two more minutes, give and take, and I'm gonna drain it out. And meanwhile, let me show you guys the salad. I made a basic salad. So I made a very basic Caesar salad. It has some Parmesan cheese on it and some Italian croutons. So we're gonna serve this with our spaghetti and meatball garlic bread. And we have to have some sort of we have to have some sort of dessert also. So we went. Um, I went to order a cake for Aidan for his birthday and our anniversary, and we got some cannolis and macarons. So that's gonna be dessert. I'm gonna showcase that also on my dessert platter. So stay with us. This is our seasoned and mixed meat mixture here. I finished mixing with my hands. And that's going now. My hands are all washed and clean. You can use your little crusty ice cream scoop if you like. I am making one big meatball for Ricky again. And I'm gonna go in with the ice cream scoop. Scoop just a little. I'm not making them too big. And I roll them in my hands. I have a sprayed, um, sheet with some parchment paper and that's the size that we're looking for so half a scoop I'm making them give it a quick and these don't have to be perfect again it's homemade guys so roll it a few again let me show you guys see the size I'm making them I'm gonna cook these on my stove top in a very hot skillet. I'm gonna brown the meatballs and then I'll cook the sauce with a little more garlic and onions and add in the meatball to finish cooking. Alright, look at our delicious meatballs. I got, you know, I didn't do a count and see how many I got. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 28 meatballs I got here and this big one is for Ricky and guys by all means you can use so I use today ground turkey as well as beef but you can incorporate whatever meat you want or you can make it plain you can do chicken meatballs you can do plain turkey you can add Italian sausage pork sausage whatever you prefer to your choice this is what my family likes. I usually make hamburgers also with a mixture of meat. So this is what I did today. And 
you see the beautiful specks of all of the seasoning the onions and garlic and everything i have a hot skillet here i don't know if you can see the steam coming off it's hot i add a little bit of olive oil that coated the bottom i'm gonna do the meatball here now and i think it's like two batches i'll have to do and then i have my diced and chopped up onions here i'm gonna saute it i have the sauce and some basil i'm gonna cook and then i add back the meatball i have my garlic bread to put into the oven so we're in good shape and of course my pasta i just a little bit a little olive oil i do not incorporate the pasta into the sauce my husband does not like anything that has too much of gravy and sauce i don't know i gotta see about that <laughs> i might have to trade him in for someone who likes sauce right never i'll never do that Well with the sauce because when this browns you get like a little charred pieces and I'm gonna caramelize the little diced pieces of onions that I have and add in the sauce to cook and just add back the meat roll. I'm using with a lid 
and that's going to cover the sauce. So let's go in now and add some olive oil. Pop onion. sauce also this is um, convenient again the barilla tomato and basil a jar of sauce I'm gonna add it in and I'll add a little bit of water you can add some chicken stock or beef stock if you like more flavor and I'll also add a, a little bit of granulated sugar guys because the tomatoes it, it's a bit tart so I'll, when I say a little I mean like a little bit of sugar, I'll add granulated sugar into this sauce also. Okay, the onions look good. Let's go in now with the sauce. And I'll rinse out the bottle. Add a little bit of extra water that I was saying. Or if you want to add stock, you can go ahead and do so also. And a can of fresh tomatoes. I'm going to lower the heat to medium. Give this a good stir. I have my granulated sugar right at the back of me. And that helps to brighten up the sauce and you get a, a little hint of something there. So I'm going to cover this. I'm going to rinse out again the remainder of the sauce as well as the can. Add it in through the sauce that's cooking here. And we'll check the sauce maybe in five minutes. And the first meatball that's going to go in is the big one here for Ricky. Because it's bigger and I undercooked the meatball, this will take a little longer to cook. And being that these are smaller, I don't want to overcook these also. So next, I'm going to cover and put this in. So after cooking for about five minutes, this is how the sauce is looking. It smells really good. First, cook them so we don't want them to get all dried out, also and overcooked. All right, I'm going to continue layering the meatball all around here and we we'll check back in soon. And here is our finished meatballs in our sauce. So, again, this is going to be served over spaghetti with some garlic bread. Ricky is going to be home shortly, as well as the kids, no one's home as yet from school. And I'm going to toast up the garlic bread for them as well as serve them some salad and we'll have some dessert also. 
So I'm about to give one of these meatballs a try. Let's see. It's a bit hot. Very moist. Delicious. And again, as I said, guys, you can use whatever meat you prefer. You can use turkey, you can use pork, you can use um, Italian sausage and incorporate with any type of beef or meat that you like. This is what my family likes. It's delicious. Cheers, guys. And here we have something for our sweet tooth after we have our spaghetti and meatballs. So the kids love, Alana loves macaroon. So we got some blue for the boys, pink for the girl. And I love cannoli. So we have, give this a little turn here. We have chocolate cannoli as well as plain, um, <clears throat> the plain vanilla one. I'm a sucker for those. All right, so the garlic bread is in the oven and I am waiting for Ricky to come home to have some lunch as well as the kids. Yesterday, today? No, yes, oh, you had yesterday. Okay. And this hot, sexy grandma coming in. Okay. All right, yeah. Try one of the meatballs. Well, pizza, I should say. You had a good day in school? Yeah. They are amazing. Yeah. with some pasta and some salad also okay yeah. and we got some dessert and we have macarons and um cannolis oh, yeah. all right that should be home momentarily okay? okay all right go ahead and enjoy the meatball now this is becoming a familiar sight today we're going extra soprino but there's a twist in this why is my egg my meatball so gigantic and everybody else is well so i'm telling everybody i told them i'm making a big meatball for you you're like the last one to see this meatball because <laughs> then gonna think where's your knife didn't you get a knife to cut it get a knife i got a, a, a bigger hand i want big big meatball you know you like big things so <laughs> meet the ball cut in three tens see so okay, i made this first, special for you let's cheers for a yes. wonderful lunch you prepared here thank you my dear cheers you're welcome Yes. I'm not gonna eat this yet because I, I had a couple tastes of the meatball and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Cooked well. Let's go into the kitchen and see if it tastes as good as it looks. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's good. My mm tea. -hmm. This is amazing. And again, remember guys, I was saying this man don't like sauce. So he could have mm -hmm. this pasta just as is, just around, look, literally a little bit of, let me grab, look how beautiful the meatball came out, guys. It's still very mm -hmm. pink and moist inside, but it's fully cooked. It's fully cooked and he has a salad. And of course you gotta have some wine. And then you have dessert, buddy. You gotta leave oh, room for dessert. dessert and there's garlic bread here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have macaroons and we have some cannolis. Reminds me of the place you went and then on Crossbay. On Crossbay? Oh, Lenny's, Lenny's Clam Bar. Oh, yeah, Lenny's Clam Bar. You can't go, you can't go wrong there. Maybe I taught you to do all of this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers to that. You're lucky again you have a wife who's cooked so much for you. You know, anything that you want. You went shopping with me this morning and let me know that you wanted mm -hmm. a spaghetti and meatball. Enjoy. Okay. And who's coming in here? Hold on. There we go. There's Antibanto. Come on, you're gonna eat some spaghetti and meatball. You ready for work? Yes. 
Yes. All right, come on, get it. Let me make you a plate. How was lunch, guys? Oh, that's okay. There you go. I think it's amazing. Crunches. Come, we gotta come for some dessert. Look. We have all the dessert. I know, I know I've got, I've got to tell you guys twice. Come on. Look. I was complaining about the meat, but being too big, it disappeared. Look, look at, <laughs> at Ricky's plate. Look. <laughs> that's when you know it's good. Yeah, right? Kaboom. <laughs> so everyone knew that I was making this meatball that big, except you. All right, cheers again. Cheers. Once again, guys, thank you for joining us. My Thank kitchen. You're yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.